David? Hmm? This might seem like a really stupid question, but, um, why are we here if you two are planning on going to New York? Because I felt like I owed it to Patrick to at least see the place where he wanted us to spend the rest of our lives. And? And it's way too small for the rest of our lives. But it's cute. Okay. So we just drove here to look at a place that you don't plan on living in? Correct. Can I ask you a question? Yes. What is it about New York? I have big dreams. And you can't have those dreams here? Some friends there. The same friends you invited to the wedding? To name a few, yes. David, they're not coming. Apparently, there was an electronic music festival in Norway that took priority. Why do you want to go back to a place that's done nothing but hurt your feelings? Because I want to show them that I'm not a joke. And that I won. David, look at this place. You've won. And on a personal note, I don't want you to leave me here, okay? Did she put on deodorant today? Excuse me? Uh, okay, I thought it was uh, the farm. It's the farm. Okay, I thought I smelled something. It's not me. All right. We're leaving. Relax. <laughs> Jesus, George, the kitchen's a hellhole. What, did you let the kids make dinner themselves? What are you doing? Thinking. About what? About this. What's that? It's a pair of earrings. I saw them in the shop and I thought, damn, these would look good on those beautiful ears. <laughs> so I bought them. I said to myself, the next time Aaron does something or says something nice, I'll surprise her with them. Do you know how long ago that was? Six months. Look, I'm sorry, I've just been working And I'm thinking you have to either find a different job or a different boyfriend because I'm done doing things and getting nothing in return. I can't leave my job, George. Yeah, you can. You can just quit. People do it all the time. How can you ask me that? For the first time in my life, I've got people respecting me. I never had that before. Ever. Don't ask me to give that up. And what about what your kids are giving up? Look, I'm doing a lot better for those kids than I did when I was living with my parents. One day they'll understand that. And what about me? What about you? All I've ever done is bend my life around what men decide that they need. Well, not now. I'm not them. What more do I have to do to prove that to you? I won't do it. I'm sorry. I thought not. Stay. 